All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the stream. Uh, last time we left off after we finished Tamtar Deep Croft, uh, dungeon. So we're just gonna pick off where we left today. As you can see, I got Coral Kitten. It's cause I've been doing some of the side quests, so of course I had to get that. And the Wolf Pup minions from, uh, Western Lenosha from Aleport. Uh, last time I was there, I did show you the NPC that would give it to you. Kinda did the introductory side quest real quick to show you that you need to do that step before actually getting the quest to get the kittens. And, uh, as you can see, I'm now level 26 with a new weapon skill. Uh, so, in short, I've kinda been just a little bit busy <laughs> with my wind-up. Alright, so without further ado, let's just pick off where we left and continue on with the story. Welcome back, Windup. I'm reliably informed that your foray into the Deep Croft was a success. Nor did I expect anything less. You've made such a habit of succeeding that it's difficult not to take your talents for granted. Rest assured, however, Mother is impressed, even if she isn't surprised. Bolord Lewin asked me to pass on his thanks. I must say, it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventurer. Sadly, death has become an ever more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is constantly inundated with petitions, and we are hard-pressed to finding enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage of work for able souls such as yourself, it also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves, with predictable consequences. Ah, as if to illustrate the point. Veer's gone, and it's all your fault. If it hadn't taken you an age to heal him, he would still be alive. But, but I tried. He bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. He shouldn't have been so hard-pressed in the first place. We should have done more to lighten his burden. Alright, before I continue on, all I want to say is, for anybody watching this, Remember this interaction, because there will be a part where you will continue on with the interaction. I have done the third part, it's basically kind of like a three-part story where you do three separate stuff. Just about this group, this is the first of it. Uh, I might do the second part here on the stream on my wind-up. But that's going to be a while later. Uh, I'm still kind of like seeing uh, what side quests I do want to actually feature on uh, my wind up for streaming. I do know that I have the Manderville quest lines. That's definitely, that's a must for me. If I don't actually feature that on the channel for me, I'll take it as there's something wrong. Uh, there's also the Bahamut Raid series that I'll need to grab a few friends so that we'll probably do it unsynced because it is the hardest raid series in this game. Uh, even after all the patches and expansions that came after, it is still the hardest. So we'll be doing that probably unsynced, but I will still be doing it for the story. I want it to feature the story and I'll if I remember any other side quests that I feel like, oh, this will be nice to actually stream, that's what I'll be streaming. So, let's continue on. Bah, to the hells with this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving, and it'd be too soon if I never see your faces again. Goodbye and good riddance. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. I only suffered you for your healing. But you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel though this cruel though this may sound, you brought this upon yourself. Oh, and by the way and and by way of some parting advice, get rid of Avir's head, bury it, cremate it, 
do whatever the hell you like with it. But for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It's it's just just get rid of it, all right? Again, remember this interaction. But wait, don't leave me alone, please. I'm so sorry, Abir. Please forgive me. Scenes like this have become all too common. That makes a dozen times in half as many days. Now, you see why I'm grateful for adventures of your experience. I can send men like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I would interest you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from my counterpart in Ulda. She seeks the services of a reliable adventurer, and you are nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, his word, and I will be glad to share the details with you. Which means we'll be going to the quicksands and Momodi. Pleasure to see you return, wind up. How fare you on your adventures? I must say, you've come quite far since we first walked through these doors. Unknown and untested, yes. Hardly a day goes by that I don't hear your name on the lips of one of our patrons. Huh. So, just a regular text bubble. Alright. So, you're not averse to taking a little trip. Wonderful. As I mentioned earlier, the request comes to us from the Adventurers Guild in Ulda. Once you arrive, speak out, seek out Momodi, the proprietress, uh, the prop, the proprietress of the quicksand. Think of her as the sultanist version of myself. Chances are she'll send you into the midst of danger, but I have every confidence that you will pull through unscathed. Now, off you go, wind up, and good luck. Alright, I will open my friends list. Nobody is in Ulda, which means I can't really have a free ride. But, I could always just travel. And we have the reduced rates up, so it shouldn't cost as much as it usually would. Also, while I'm here, I need to remember to do this. Alright, uh, register as favorite destination. That way, it is way cheaper. Since it's a favorite destination. I usually have Ulda and, uh, what's its name? Limsalo Minsa as favorite destinations because it helps a lot. Alright, let me just take a look. Of course, I have done all the side quests that I could find here a while back. So, no new ones for now. Welcome to the quicksands, friends. I'm a tad busy right now. If you mind showing yourself to judging by your determined expression, I take it you ain't here for ale. Are you cold wind up Shirogami by any chance? Mio sent word that you'd be reporting for duty. She also made a point of calling you the adventure of the moment. There ain't no small praise coming from her. But you didn't come all the way here to listen to my prattle. Doubtless you're eager to get started, so let's talk business, shall we? Ooh, cutscene. The petitioner ought to be arriving any moment now. Gods almighty, another second under that sun and I would have been set afire. Tankard of ale, if you would be so kind. Excellent timing, Papa Shen. It, all, it just happen, so happens the adventurer who will be handling your petition is here. Oh, we're all Lalapels. 
What do you know? So this strapping young lad is a much lauded adventurer, you see? Marvelous, marvelous. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sir. I am Papashin, formerly of the Sultan's Sworn. We thank you for agreeing to lend us your aid. May I have you like to apprise Windup of his mission? Yes, of course. The petition in question was submitted by an acquaintance of mine at, Am at Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern. It relates to an unfortunate development at Copperbell Mines. To be plain, giants have seized control of the place. These giants are of the clan known as Hecaton Cheers. I probably butchered that, but oh well. Here's some creatures who were sealed within the deepest depths of the mines during the bygone Thorn Dynasty. Alas, it seems they have managed to break through the layer of rock which served to imprison them, and now prowl the tunnels where the miners ply. Their trade... The creatures are justifiably angry about their treatment at the hands of our ancestors, and their presence has forced uh, the suspension of all mining activities on the site. It's no wonder they're angry. Didn't the Thorn Dynasty come to an end over 300 years ago? You know your history well, m'lady. The people of that age used to use the Hecaton cherries to work their minds. By way of enchanted helms, they were able to bind the ferocious creatures to their will. But as it off, but as is off the way in such tales, these enchantments eventually failed, and the slaves rose up against their masters. In a desperate bid to contain the unbridled fury of the Hecaton cherries, our ancestors induced the collapse of the mines, lowermost levels, so as that great giant revolt was ended. Buried beneath a hundred thousand tons of rock. Well now, that's got me thinking. I seem to recall there being an article about Copper Bell and the Mithril Eye a fortnight or so ago. It said the mines were being reopened so as to meet the rise in demand for building materials. Like it's not, our boys dug a bit too deep and freed the giants. Gods, to think the poor creatures are still alive and kicking after three centuries. That's a long time to nurse a grudge. They must be seething. Indeed, and that makes them a danger to us all. There will be no mining at Copper Bell so long as they remain. For the sake of both peace and prosperity, they must be subdued. This is the task which we would have you undertake. I'll not deny that the mission will be rife with danger, but our need is great, and so I beg you, put an end to this sorry business. God bless you. I fear you might have reservations, but I assure you it's for the best. Hmm. In case you don't know, Copperville Mines are in Western Thandaland. Do take care, you hear? Ah, and one last thing before you depart. An employee of Amagina and Sons is presently at the Quicksands. The, fellow na the fellow's name is Painted Mesa. And he knows Copperbell Mines well. It may behoove you to seek his counsel. Alright, let's talk to you, Painted Mesa. Looking for Painted Mesa? You found him. So, you're the adventurer who's volunteered to deal with the mess down in Copperbell, are you? You've got guts, mate. I just hope you've got skills to go with him. The things ain't pretty down there. The Hecaton, cher the Hecaton Cherries left the place in a right state and nary a week after mining resumed. I don't know if you know this, but Copper Bell was old when the second Thule dynasty was still young, and it was abandoned centuries ago. If it hadn't been for the shortage of materials needed for the rebuilding effort, the concern would never have thought to reopen it. We knew full well about the giants beforehand, but the project went ahead anyway. I mean, nothing could possibly survive being buried under a mountain, under a mountain's worth of rock for three centuries, right? Wrong. 
Our miners dug up more than they bargained for. One swing of the pickaxe too many and they found themselves in the company of giants. Unless we can subdue them, the nation's glorious recovery will grind to a halt. We want a bot to build with. The stone torches keep in the thorn the stone torches are keeping watch over the entrance in case the giants fancy some sunlight and fresh air. One of them will be able to show you the way in. The hope of the nations rested on you, friend. Best of luck. Ah, of course it's always resting on me. But we've got this. Now, I have checked my friends list, as you've seen. And three company list. There aren't really that many online. And who's online probably isn't really interested in running the Copper Bell Mines right now. So I'll just be going on ahead and be queuing up solo once the. Uh, once a prompt is given for me. But it's not really a big deal. Alright, there's Stone Torch. There has been an incident inside Copperbell Mines. We are here to ensure that its effects are contained. For your own safety, I suggest you shall be stay well away from here. What? You're the adventurer who's volunteered to quell the Hecaton Cherries? I didn't think that Papa Sean would be able to find someone so quickly, if at all. The giants are content to wreak havoc, to wreak havoc inside the mines for now. But it's only a matter of time before they think to come outside. The sooner you see to them, the better. Make ready as best as you can and enter at will. Alright, let me find Will so I can enter. And yes, I did make that joke and I do not regret it. Alright, so there's a six minute wait time. Which means... I have no clue what to do for now. Pretty sure those two are friends and person in the suit is a healer. Either that or just somebody watching another person die. Kind of like what I'm doing, but that person is doing it up close. Alright. Don't really have much to do in this area. So might as well start killing stuff. Copper cobbling 
do have ore to drop, so that's always good. Although the drop rate for the ore is low. There we go, tin ore. Fortunately, the bombs and glide bombs here do not drop anything at all. Which, in my opinion, is a shame. Alright, let's get out of that area. And let's kill some other stuff that might be able to drop some materials. I enter this fate. Let me kill the couple of desert uh, beasts and then I'll enter. Desert height. Let's see which pops first. Me finishing this or the dungeon. All right, in the copper mill, copper bill mines we go.
Right. All right, for those that are watching, this area isn't really necessary to progress, it's just a dead end. It is, however, necessary to get the achievement for exploring this dungeon. Uh, that's the sole reason to really enter here. So if you're after achievements, this is definitely a room that you would want to enter. Those are the giants they were talking about. This is what they look like. Now there is an area to the left. There are some monsters there, but it's not really necessary to actually go and kill them. Only reason you would want to do that is if you're leveling and you just wanted the extra experience and kill. Other than that, it's something that you could just avoid if you want to. And it seems our friend Machinists want to gather said enemies. Problem is, they despawn, so if you want to go kill them, you have to kill them in that area. The first three dungeons the enemies uh, actually have an area where they would despawn. So if you want, you just need to not go really that far. Uh, if you want to kill a group, you it's, it's basically best to kill them where they are. No uh, movement whatsoever. That's probably the easiest way.
Alright. First boss fight. Basically nothing really much to this fight. Basically, this boss fight is multiple waves of adds, then there's one that always drops from here, then after all the adds are down, the boss will be dropping from there as well. Any range, physical range mostly, because uh, they're the ones that have the instantaneous abilities but uh, those are the best DPS for this phase because you could stand in the middle and just leave the rest uh, the killing of the ads up to them really don't need to do much right now as you can see the boss is going to be dropping and of course, a giant. Now, this boss is extremely easy. You just keep hitting him until he dies. Literally nothing to it but that.
this fight, basically, tank keeps aggro on the Icarus ire. Uh, and also the blasting cap. Somebody will summon the blasting cap. You just don't kill it, you leave it up so that it will blow up the Icarus. And every time it splits, we just need to do that three times. And then the boss will be killable because at this rate, it'll just take far too long to actually kill the boss. Basically, somebody could go ahead and uh, summon the bomb. The other could just stand there and watch. But always have a DPS in this area for that Spriggan because when it appears, it goes and attacks the bomb, the blasting cap. So you need to kill it as soon as possible or at least take its attention off of the blasting cap. So this roof is avoidable if you want, but again, extra experience, extra gill, not really that bad. Our machine is keeps drawing the attention of all the enemies here. As long as the healer is okay with it, you can technically do that. Just make sure that uh, you let the healer know that you're going to be do that. Just at least as a common courtesy.
Sleeps no more free. Free. All right, time to put him down. For this boss, you just keep DPSing him down like the first one. You will go to that boulder to summon adds, but you could just ignore that. Usually what I like to do if I'm tanking this is I'll take him next to the boulder from the beginning so that he doesn't walk and would kind of interrupt DPS a bit. So that's a nice thing to just keep in mind. Nice. All right, let's give the commendation to the DPS. They were pretty helpful in guiding the tank. Healer, of course, did an excellent job keeping us alive, but still, I believe that, uh, wait, no extract materia, because I haven't done the side quest for it yet. Have to remember to do that soon. Alright, so all this will stay here. The reason I am keeping all those is pretty simple. Uh, Alright, so I need to report back to Painted Mesa that it's in Ulda. But, uh, yeah. The reason I am keeping those is that once I unlock the Grand Company feature and reach a certain rank with them, I will be able to trade those in for seals. So that is basically one could say an investment of, of sorts. So it's always nice to keep. Also, I will see what I can trade and I will trade it over to my main. Uh, because on my main, I have all the crafting uh, jobs and those will help just deconstructing them because they grab uh, some materials that I could use and some of the materials I could only gain really from deconstructing stuff which I'm gonna have to look up later on but they will have their uses that's why I usually like to hold on to them Plus, if I'm not going to use them for anything else, if I plan on getting a another job to have, then it's going to be useful to have them. Alright, let's 
just repair real quick. And I will go this way. It is shorter. And I could just teleport straight to the Adventurer's Guild from here. Alright, there it is. That means I will battle somebody soon. Ah, the Conqueror of Copper Bell returns. Thanks to you, our mine and operation can resume, and Ulda will have the materials she needs to rebuild the entire nations in your debt, friend. I'll share the good tidings with Topshin the next time I see him. As for you, you want to report to Mamudi. We'll do the woman well to see you alive and in one piece. No, oh, no. Shut your mouth, you thieving little swine. You stole from me. Don't even think to deny it. P please, sir, I didn't steal nothing. I, I bu bought this, paid for it with my own coin. What's rot? You refugees are all the same. Couldn't afford maggoty mole meat, much less choice cut of dodo. Going to say it one more time. Give back what you stole, or I'll make you wish you'd never set foot in this town. By rights, I should turn you over to the brass blades, you know. Help keep the streets safe for law abiding citizens. But I'm a reasonable man. If you agree to serve me in whatever capacity I require, the authorities needn't hear of your crime. Now it looks like I'm about to show them all. But, but I ain't done nothing wrong. Twelve as me witness. Of course everybody's backing up, except for me. So please, adventurer, help me. I beg of ye. I swear on me mother's grave, I didn't steal nothing. I brought this with the coin I'd saved. I only wanted to treat my children to a decent meal. Oh no, poor little woman. And who the hell are you when you're at home? This dog's master? Ah, you done mess with the wrong Lala today. I've had enough of this mummer's farce. You lot, teach them a lesson. Yep, they done messed up, a eh, Aaron. bad for an adventure. Like I was just filthy bodyguard. And of course other bodyguards who come in and help. They will be easier to kill of course. But since this one's a caster go down first. Let's kill this guy next. There we 
go. All piled up on each other. I ain't getting paid enough for this. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Thank you, kind adventure. Thank you, thrice over. I should really carry Tylenol, Tylenol or something with me. Probably would help. I swear, there were more refugees than when I last looked. And you wouldn't be mistaken. But it's been five years since the calamity. Why are they only coming here now? Simple, really. While a number of hamlets survived the immediate aftermath of the calamity, many were no longer able to support their communities. The residents found their lands had either been rendered barren or cut off from trade routes. Problems like those ain't easily solved. Though they tried to make the best of it, it was only a matter of time before they were forced to abandon their homes and seek a new life in the city. I see. But the calamity affected the whole realm, didn't it? Is the same thing happening in the other cities? The talk is true, yes. Though perhaps our situation is more pronounced. Ulda has a reputation for being prosperous, so it's natural that refugees would try their luck here first. My heart goes out to them. It truly does. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't apprehensive. I hope their presence doesn't foment lawlessness in the city. Well, if things do take a turn for the worse, we always have the immortal flames. I dare say the Brass Blades would welcome their help. The heroes who fought the Garlean Empire patrolling the streets for riffraff may well come to that. Emp impover impoverished, impoverished and desperate as they are, you may be sure that some of the refugees will turn to crime. You know what this place is like. If you've no coin, you've no hope. Ah, what will become of our city? Not all refugees are bad, mind you. Some are able to find employment and lead honest lives. Dodo tenderloins. Get your dodo tenderloins. Guaranteed cheapest in Thanalan. Thank you for your custom, madam. Please come again. Look around, you'd think that Wulda was well on its way to recovery. But peer through the veil of prosperity and you'll see no end to the misery and suffering. So this whole interaction was just to show me that, yes, she bought the dodo tenderloins. God damn. Sir, are you alright? What now? You mean to threaten a defenseless citizen? What? Saw her buy that meat, you say? That's absurd. Aye, as did I. Leave the poor woman alone, you damnable vulture. Who said that? Oh, I see who it is. It's Etta, right behind that post. Grr, I will overlook this, but just this once. God bless you, adventurer. You hadn't come along when you did. 
Who knows what that monster might have done? Don't bear thinking about. Case closed. Hello again. I skipped. Alright. You discharge your duty as envoy impeccably, and never once falters in the face of myriad dangers. Okay, so basically I just looked over again, and what Papalima wanted to say is, we've been keeping an eye on you. That's basically it. Alright, but more importantly, you were always ready to help those in need, even if you didn't stand to earn a guilt by doing so. You are possessed of all the qualities we seek in an adventure. Of this, we are convinced. Even if you were kind of dragged into that business with the dodo meat. Yes, thank you, Ida. <clears throat> and then, there's the matter of your gift. I dare say you are curious as to the nature of the vision you bore witness to moments ago. Well, we can help you to understand it. You're not the only one with the power, you know. We have a friend who has it, too. We'd love for you to meet her. And meeting her is only the beginning, for we would also have you lend your strength to our cause. In return, we should be glad to assist your adventuring endeavors in whatever way we are able. Should you decide to take us up on our offer, and I sincerely hope you will, Please speak with Momody, the profiteeress of the quicksand. Is a good friend of ours. She will tell you where to find us. Wait a minute. We haven't even told you the name of our order. We're the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Defenders of Justice. Oh, but don't tell anyone except for Momody. She knows already. I do appreciate that the Japanese name given for this group is Akatsuki. If any Naruto, fa Naruto fans are watching, you know what I'm talking about. To think that you ever see a good Akatsuki group. Seems like that are becoming ever more common, I'm afraid. Don't worry though, if you work hard, you'll probably be alright. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of bother, come and see me. Just don't go pestering me every time you raise your knee, eh? Of course, I do enjoy hearing tips tell of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from time to time. Ah, wind up. Sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventure. For God, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you'd ha you'd been hard at it with the giants in the dark. Through every elm the adventure Mion said you'd be, wind up, the station master will be overjoyed when he hears the news. No, oh, before I forget, there's a lass who wanted a word with you. I didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew who she meant right away. Ah. Thank you for sparing the time. Alright. Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been longing to speak with you for a while now. My name is Etta. I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one. But truth be told, anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when... When... I'm sorry. We were in Gridania when the leader of our party was killed. His name was Avir. He and I were to be wed in the spring. You may not remember him, 
but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He'd sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw you for what you are. You see, an adventure is adventure, and swore that he would be like you one day. I believe that he would have succeeded had a fiend not robbed him of the chance. Since that day, I have thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. But when I think of the man you are, of all you've achieved, I find that I am inspired just as a beer once was. So I've decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first, to ask you your name. Wind up Shirogami. I shan't forget. Thank you, wind up Shirogami. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Adventuring can be a cruel bleed in business. Time was. I didn't know why anyone would bother when they first asked me to take charge of the guild here. I didn't want aught to do with you lot. Thought it'd be a right pain in the arse looking after you all. At least you're honest, my lady. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post, and I'm full glad I did. A little privilege to be part of your lives. That goes double for yours, wind up. Eh? Uh, what did you say? Do you want to know about the signs of the seventh dawn? They're beginning to move in earnest, then. Listen up, wind up. The signs ain't no ordinary folk. And the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. That's the whole reason I am here. So, I will take that information, thank you. Alright, that's Vesper Bay Aetherite Tickets. That's something that they added new, which I believe is awesome. Because basically you can pray return to the Waking Sands way easier than it used to be. So, you want to know more than you then do you? Well, ain't that a surprise. I swear if I painted certain death on one door and limitless wealth on the other, 9 out of 10 adventures would go through the first and the other bloke wouldn't be able to choose on account of being Uldan. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these scions of the seventh dawn, you can. They're good people who've made it their mission to solve some of Eordia's most pressing problems. Of course, they ain't no small task. So, they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you, wind up. Now, I've been given leave to tell you where to find the science, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something it's something Eorzea's enemies would very much like to know. Science are headquartered in Vesper Bay, out in western Tantalan. The place you're looking for is called the Waken Sand. The w Waken Sand. Give your name to whoever's at the entrance, and you'll be let in. You're a man in demand, wind up, and the days ahead promise to be busy. But I hope you won't forget about them, as helped, as helped make you into the adventure you are. Drop in and tell them how you're faring from time to time. You hear? Right. Well, I've said my piece. Off you go. Since I don't have the tickets, I'll just exit to Western Sandalan and just run there. It's not really that far.
I have been to this bay once before. Did a couple of side quests there, and that's where you pick up some of the main, uh, well not main, they're the side dungeons, so to say. Some of the dungeons that you can unlock are not, of course, gotta be all with main scenario quests, you can unlock them, some of them from that area. Pretty convenient if you ask me, and they have some pretty good dungeon cell lock there. Time for me to eat something. Let's eat this. I usually like to eat two by two so that I have it for an hour. And of course, I have a different hat piece. The circlet is no longer useful for me, and since it doesn't have any stats, wearing a proper headgear is best for me. Here's our favorite Lalafell Tataru. Deep in the desert of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. Tra -la 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 -la. Ah! <clears throat> I would thank you not to sneak up on me like that. Now, please be advised that this is private property. Unless you have pertinent business here, I must ask you to... Here, at the behest of Evan Papalimu. My sincerest apologies. May I please have your name? Wind up Shirogami, wind up Shirogami. Ah, here you are. Ahem, <laughs> I bid you welcome to the Waking Sand, headquarters of the Science of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru, and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. The antecedent is within the Solar. I shall let her know to expect you. It's been quite a long time since I was here last. I take it you're wind up, Shirogami. Tataru sent word that you had arrived. Lady Minfilia has eagerly awaited your coming. This way, if you please. Alright, and since I don't really need any of those, log and bronze piece it is.
私はミンフィニアこの暁の血命の名手です待ってたわこちらへどうぞ悪いように養しなえたら安心して。聞きたいことはあると思うけどまずは私たち暁の血命について説明した方がいいかしらね私たち暁の血命は国家間の垣根を越えてエオルゼア全土で活動している団体です私たちの目的は一つ神々に愛され父このエオルゼアを救済するそのためにエオルゼアはいいえ世界が抱える脅威である万身問題の解決に向けて取り組んでいますこの暁の血命にはあなたと同じ不思議な力を持つ人が何人かいるのこの不思議な力にはいくつか種類があるんだけれどあなたはこれまでにこんな経験をしたことがないかしらノイズのような感覚何かに吸い込まれるような感覚まるで幻のように浮かび上がる風景それこそがあなたの能力精神の壁を越え相手を見ることができる超える力よ超える力は言葉の壁を越える力心の壁を越える力そして幻のごとく過去を見ることができる時間の壁を越える力さすがに過去が見えるだけで相手と会話したり結果を変えたりなんてことはできないわさまざまな能力の中でもこの超える力は特殊なものあなたはその中でも強い力を持つただその力は自分で発動をコントロールできないところが悩ましいのよねきっと私もあなたと同じ力その超える力の能力者の一人よさて本題よ私たちの目的エオルゼアの救済のためには万身問題の解決が不可欠そのためには国家組織種族の言葉それに主義や思想あらゆる壁を越えた対策をしなくてはならないそこであなたの力が必要になる私たち暁の結明に協力してほしいのあなたの能力超える力は万身への切り札ともなるもの万身問題を解決するため世界を救うために必要な力よあなたはエオルゼアを歩く冒険者として何を求め何になりたいのか私にはわからないでもこの先も冒険者として生きるためにはもっとエオルゼアを知る必要があるでしょそしてそのエオルゼアには万身問題がある私たちと行動して万身問題を追うことはエオルゼアを知るのに最も近道だと思うわあらい Naturally, your age will not go unrewarded. You are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and, or, and at a word from me, they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied to you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? Yes, I am, and I have been waiting to hear those words. 
There are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. The papers you requested, my lady. Thank you, Tataru. The pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will need to consult a retainer vocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement. But believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. Let this gesture serve as evidence of our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us to the fullest extent of your talents. A mutually beneficial relationship, I'm sure you will agree, and one which serves a greater good besides. Well, that was a bearable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now, you know our promise, our purpose, and what we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. In good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password which our members used to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. All right, so this is the hiring a retainer. I'll probably hire two Lalafels, since I'm a Lalafell myself. But the thing with retainers is, if you're going to choose a class, they can only be a class you have A. Unlocked, and B. You have leveled up, because the retainers will only be the same level as you. They cannot be a higher level than you. So, plan accordingly on what you want to do. As you can only employ the retainers and have them at the class which you are or have unlocked and only up to the level that you have as well. We Scions have but one objective, to safeguard the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. How long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose? I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Pray consider this when you give me your answer wind up. Let's see what will I say. Uh, I will go with her, the wild rose blooms. Seems like a good enough answer all right uh i won't really be getting anything out of it so bronze piece it is さあ、<笑> あつきの結名の仲間
シャーレアンの中で賢人と呼ばれる人々が結成したのが救世主よエオルゼアが滅亡から逃れる希望があると信じてこの地に残って活動してくれた集団よ他の住民は北洋の本国に帰ってしまったけどね彼らがそのシャーレアンの賢人たち彼女がイダ隣がパパリモよ2人とも森の都グリダニアの調査を担当しているわよろしくねよろしく君なら協力してくれると信じていたよ私もねここ砂の都ウルダハの調査の担当者だよろしくな彼女はヤシトラだ海の都リムタロミンサの調査の担当をしているよろしくね最後に彼はウリエンジェオギレこの本土の執務長よ困ったことがあったら彼に聞くといいわ血明輝けども必ずや暁迎え我が友の言葉この出会いに感謝を我々は5年前のカルテンでの戦いでイタリアを追い指導者を失ったそして我々と歩みを共にしていたミンフリアたちで暁の結盟を結成したのこのように能力者とシャーレアンの賢人を中心に暁の結盟は多くの名員で構成されているわそして彼女受付や事務処理を担当しているタタリスもよよろしくですみんなで仲良くやっていきましょうさてと早速だけど頼みがあるのウリエンジェさんバルデシオン委員会からの資料は届いてるええ、こちらにウルダハのグランドカンパニー不滅隊からある事件にも協力要請があったのサンクレット説明をお願いできるかしら事件の概要はこうだ七輪銀山で採掘されたクリスタルを運ぶアマジナ鉱山車系のキャラバンが襲撃されたそれだけじゃない時を同じくしてウルダハ近辺の貧民窟から幾人もの人が消えているクリスタル強奪事件と誘拐事件ってところで本来こういった事件は治安維持に務めるグランドカンパニーの仕事だわでもこの事件おそらく晩神が絡んでいる現場に残っていた手口おそらく死亡者はウルダハに住むアマルジャ族だアマルジャ族にはクリスタルを強奪したり人を誘拐する理由があるそれこそが晩神関連ってわけだあなたに晩神問題を理解してもらうためにもこの事件に関わってほしいのウルダハの事情には担当でもあるサンクレットが詳しいわ彼にあなたを支援してもらいます俺に任せてくれよろしくなあ
Alright, looks like we're starting to move along with the story, which means our first primal battle will be soon. So will be the first... Well, it wouldn't be my first mount since I already have one. But I will be able to use mounts and other various stuff. So we're moving along pretty nicely. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Crimes which we believe to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack on the caravan, our friends at Amagina and Sun's Mineral Concern have double security over all their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that this abduction that the abduction should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name of Isambard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see what he gives, uh, and see that he gives us his full cooperation. All right, so. Here is what I will do. Uh, well. I cannot jump on the desk, but I can stand on the chair right next to Minfilia. Alright. Let us... Uh, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna be logging off for today. I will continue on. I feel like this is a good stopping point for today. And I'll be continuing on with the story next time. So, if you have enjoyed what you have seen, you can go ahead and follow me as the links below. My Twitch and Twitter bios have a link to my YouTube, which is basically an archive for old streams and the other stuff. So, if you wanted to go back, visit an old stream, rewatch this stream, that is where you can find it. Here is my current schedule. Tomorrow, Saturday, is Stardew Saturday, where I'll be playing some more calming, relaxing, and amazing Stardew Valley. Uh, one of the games that I love, honestly. That is just a super chill game, honestly. Uh, so, that is going to be tomorrow. So, without further ado, wherever you are in the world, have a lovely evening, morning, whatever it is. And till we meet again.